For the next seven days, I'm gonna wear these AI-infused brain-scanning headphones. Yep, you heard me right. Neurable is a company crafting brainwave scanning tech in an effort to help the masses not only work more productively, but potentially treat ADHD naturally and even detect brain health concerns over time. It's a tall order, so are these headphones just another AI gimmick, or is this tech genuinely helpful? I'm gonna find out. After unboxing the MW75s, the first thing I notice is just how high quality they're built. Whoa. Neurable teamed up with Master Dynamic to create these luxurious audiophile headphones. It feels super cozy. Almost like memory foam when you push on it, it slowly comes back up. That also read brainwaves and provide feedback through the Neurable app. They fit over my ears, it's nice. The first thing I had to figure out is connecting the ear cups properly, but after a few tries, I got it, and it does get easier over time. Whoa, just made a really cool noise. We're like, yum. Measure your focus by recording brain waves. So it's asking me what different diseases or brain experiences I've had recently in the past year. Do I look cool? Do I look handsome? It's now ready to use. If your brain starts to fatigue during a focus session, the app will alert you that you've earned a brain break. Aim for 100 focus points a day. Okay, so we're gamifying a little bit. Also, I got to play this little rocket video game and my brain controlled the rocket. It was so cool. So we have this red button here, power button. And then on the other cup, we have a plus, a middle button, and a minus. I'm assuming that's to control media. As an audio nerd and musician, I am happy to say these headphones sound incredible. Wow, the low end is like very tight, but not overwhelming like other brands that just boost it like crazy. Oh, you can feel it though. <laughs> this is how I review headphones. <laughs> but it's time to charge them up and get ready for I spent this beautiful morning with my son. Now it's time to be productive. What I've been using for headphones for years now are the DT770 Pros. The cups are extremely comfortable. I can legit wear these for like 12 plus hours a day and they don't hurt my head ever. But I'm gonna try to swap out today for the Neurables and see if I can actually be productive and get a bunch of stuff done. Let's try video editing. We might have a little problem. So when I plug in this cable, Bluetooth gets disconnected so I can't track a focus session. So for me to actually edit and have that be part of the tracked session, I have to edit with Bluetooth. So I'm just gonna listen to music and still work on my computer, but track a focus session. I've been going for about an hour. I'm needing a little break, so I'm going to end this session. Oh, you have to hold it down. Already got 60 focus points for the day. And after a couple days, it's gonna get to know my brain waves a little better, I guess. And we'll see if I'm actually a genius like my wife thinks I am. That evening, I decided to stay home and do a workout downstairs. The question is, does this Nurable app work with exercise? Will these be a pain in the butt to work out in? And today I'm gonna work out from home, but tomorrow I'm gonna go to the gym. So we'll test it in multiple situations. I have a feeling this is gonna hurt, but at least my headphones are comfy. The headphones held up for my quick basement session and the EEG scanners on the ear cups did not disconnect. So tomorrow we'll push them even harder. So we're here with my YouTube buddy who you've met before, Spencer West. What's up y'all? Absolute beast. He's used to wearing AirPods while working out and stuff, but I'm gonna have him try on the Nurables and see just like comfort what he thinks. They feel so industrial. Which side goes in front? There's a mark of right and left on these on the poles there somewhere. Yep, here we go. Okay, just put them on. With the pads on the outside, they actually keep them like off your ears, which I like a lot. Yeah. I like them, they're cool. comfortable. Toby. Oh, he's gonna do I'm it, folks. For high movement exercise, the headphones felt fine. Definitely a little heavy, but keep in mind, this isn't exactly what they're designed for. However, the ambient listening did allow me to jam some tunes while still chatting with Spencer. Nope. 
and they clearly did not impact my sweet, sweet jumper. Jack doesn't miss. That's all I'm gathering from this. We also did some lifting, and this is where I could see myself continuing to use the MW75s. Staying focused while lifting will help me waste less time at the gym, actually work on the mind to muscle connection, and dude, the music just sounds so good. I'm up early today, so I'm gonna focus on my morning devotional. By now, I've basically mastered putting the headphones on and nailing the cup placement for the dome scanners. I think I'm noticing myself trying to focus better when I'm wearing these, instead of just kind of blindly reading and not even like retaining stuff. I know that I'm being tracked, which is kind of motivating me to be more intentional. It's like, oh, I wanna do a good job of focusing. So that little devotional session was a little over 10 minutes, nothing too crazy today. I'm gonna end the session. You gotta hold this down, I always forget that. I felt okay on that one. It was still kind of hard for me to focus, but we're getting there. I got 21 focus points, and today we will hit 100. Time to write. Okay, I just finished writing my script. It took about an hour and 15 minutes. I, I need focus points. I'm already at 98% and it's 10 a.m. Time to write another script. I absolutely obliterated my focus point goal. So, since we're on day right now, I've been having quite a bit of questions about this product right here. I'm actually gonna hop on a call with the people who work at Nurable and just ask them some straight up honest questions and hopefully it makes this video even better because I just wanna get down to the root of this and see kind of what they're imagining when making this thing and who it might actually be helpful for. Kind of nervous, but here we go. How you doing, man? Not too bad, I can't complain, you know? Almost end of the day on Friday. Hey, that's beautiful. That's Super beautiful. I've been testing out this incredible <laughs> kit here. So I have this thing with my channel. It's kind of like a like an underlying mission statement of like helping people use tech with intention. What do you think that means to you personally? You know, intention is everything. Uh, my grandfather, uh, you know, I witnessed him, you know, go through what it is to, you know, basically develop dementia and all of that. And, you know, being able to work on a project that is going to allow people to improve their brains naturally, have early detection, you know, avoid that kind of stuff is, you know, amazing to be at the forefront of. This moment hit home for me. I lost my grandpa a couple years ago. It wasn't anything brain related, but seeing his health deteriorate was really painful. He never got to meet my son, Levi. So if there's any way for me to improve my longevity to be here for family as long as possible, count me in. So for people who have bought your product and been using it for a while, have you guys seen any real long-term feedback on like positive stories or like true positive feedback from people on like actually tracking their brain? Yeah, I mean, I think we've seen true data just on people's ability to focus and their focus metrics and overall mental health improvements. And you know, now with our recent update, I don't know if you've seen the audio biofeedback, which is more or less like we've seen already become like a non-medical treatment for ADHD because we have tailored audio that manipulates based on your focus levels. But essentially what you're looking at here is like, this is what a neurotypical brain looks like when reading a book for 30 minutes. And then this is what your brain looks like when someone with ADHD reads a book for 30 minutes. Wow. And then like this is low low focus zones and we've actually seen like, keeping ADHD people with ADHD bouncing it within the range of high and medium focus ladies and gentlemen tonight is an incredibly important night to focus because my golden state warriors are playing where is it oh yeah i can turn the volume of my apple tv up and down just with my headset controls and pause the game watch this pause play it's kind of dope. On the surface, this might sound stupid, but I kind of want to try to do a focus session while watching an NBA game. I know this is probably dumb, but there's so many times where we want to focus on one thing, but this thing keeps popping up in front of us and we doom scroll while we're watching TV, while we're eating a meal. So I started a focus session and I watched that dang game. I watched it intently and sometimes I got distracted. Don't check my phone. Stop looking at my phone. But we stayed locked in. Let's go, Jimmy. Let's go, Jimmy. And it was nice to just focus on one thing. Who would have guessed? We have a very busy day today. Mondays are usually a little crazy, getting caught up over the after the weekend. So I'm gonna need some neural AI to keep me focused. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Time to get started. To 
Today, it clicked. I just feel motivated, and I'm enjoying how these fit into my daily routine. Do you want to go on a walk? Do you want to go on a walk? Yes, these headphones take intention, but that's the point. It's not some sort of passive piece of technology that you just wear and hope that it works. But that's partly why it seems to be improving my mental clarity and productivity. You have to care. All right, well, we have come to the end of our experiment wearing these for a week, and I've gathered a few thoughts that I'd just like to share with the class. This seven day tech experiment is completely different than all the other ones I've done. This piece of technology requires more long form use to really get the best benefit and the best data from it. You gotta really like use this thing over time for that data to stack up and to really learn how your brain is working, right? You know, short term, you're improving your focus. Medium term, all of these compound. And then in the long term, you know, we're basically able to create baselines and, you know, have longitudinal data of your brain and flag it for changes so that you can, you know, have a constant monitor in your life. You could actually see like when your health is dipping and potentially get warnings on like, hey, maybe you should go see a doctor right now. Like your brain's looking kind of wonky right now, bro. But the fact that you get that kind of data from this device is a new concept and it seems pretty dang amazing, especially if you want to take your longevity and health seriously. Make sure to text me when you get home so I know you're safe. Support on Patreon. Please remember you guys are loved so much more than you might even imagine. And I pray that God blesses you guys. All right. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.